This is an electric vehicle. Now, it might look like any other car, but under the hood, it's a lot different. Instead of a fuel tank, there's a battery pack. That's where the vehicle gets all its energy. And it needs a lot of energy, like 5,000 times that of your smartphone. Which is why the pack is made up of all these powerful little battery cells. Inside each cell, there's a chemical reaction between the cell's materials. Electrons move from anode to cathode and vice versa to create an electrical charge, the energy. The type of materials and the reaction they create determines just how much energy the battery can store and how much power it can release. Not all cells use the same type of materials, though, and that's what sets some batteries apart from others. Most automakers today use NMC or NCA lithium-ion batteries. These nickel-cobalt chemistries store more energy, which means they allow the car to travel farther on a single charge. But NMC batteries aren't perfect. If something goes wrong, their oxygen can quickly react with electrolyte, causing the battery to overheat and catch fire. The other thing about NMC batteries? They don't last very long, usually just around five years, and then they start to degrade. And then there's cobalt. While it provides a lot of energy, there's just not much of it on Earth. Definitely not enough to build batteries for millions of EVs. Plus, cobalt mining practices are not exactly ethical, either. But the industry has found another option. LFP, or lithium iron phosphate batteries. Keyword, iron. That's the main material in LFP batteries, and there's a lot more of it in this world than nickel and cobalt. Translation, iron's a lot cheaper and more sustainable. And the phosphate makes the battery a lot more stable when it comes to heat. In LFP cells, oxygen ions are bound up in the phosphate. So when the battery gets damaged or overheats, the oxygen can't react and combust, which means there's a lower risk of fire. It also means LFP cells are much more durable. They won't break down during charging and discharging and can last as long as 15 years. And get this, since LFP chemistry is so safe and reliable, you can pack those LFP cells a lot closer together in the battery than you could with NMC cells. This allows for more LFP cells in the pack, giving the battery a higher energy density. Like so high, some LFP packs can actually travel further than NMC packs on a single charge. Because even though it's not the highest energy chemistry, LFP can be the highest energy system. This is big, because LFP used to get a bad rep for its lower range, but new battery design allows LFP to deliver just as much energy and range as NMC. And EV makers are taking notice. So far, four major automakers have announced plans to use LFP batteries, because they're safe, sustainable, affordable, reliable, and deliver just as much range as NMC. And that's exactly what the world needs to start shifting to electric vehicles in a major way.